People in Roanoke are also busy cleaning up after this latest round of flooding. News Channel 15's Sarah Wagner spent the day talking to businesses and neighbors there, and she continues our coverage from the town's main street. The water may be gone here in downtown Roanoke, but a lot of mud still coats the streets. Business owners tell me they'll work as long as they need to to get everything cleaned up. When they say flash flooding, that's what they mean. Up to a foot of water filled downtown Roanoke overnight. Today, businesses along Main Street are trying to dry out. Well, the water's already receded out of the streets and everything, but it left behind its wake. Perry Collins owns Roanoke Merchandise. It's actually a hobby out of control. He says his store had minimal damage, but he's had help all day long. This Main Street will be spotless this time tomorrow. The barber next door, also busy cleaning up. But I started in Roanoke yeah, 52 years ago. Rex Ottinger says he hasn't seen flooding like this in nearly 30 years. A June 1st, uh, 1989. As downtown Roanoke works to get back to normal, a lot of the side streets are just beginning to look at the damage. Many neighbors woke up to several feet of water in their homes and even more in their yards. By the time I got here, it, water was up to here in the middle of the street. Scott Prophet's house is full of damage, and his three cars are destroyed. We've met more neighbors today than we ever have. A lot of the homeowners we talked to today say they don't have flood insurance and will just have to do the majority of the cleanup on their own. Reporting in Roanoke, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.